I'm glad to be here tonight. I'm glad to see all of you here tonight. Uh, I'm glad that at the local and the national level, uh, Progressive Democrats of America and labor unions are working uh, closer together. Uh, at the national level, they've made a pact to uh, you know, fight for each other's issues. And I hope that we can do the same thing down here in Tucson. And part of the reason that I'm really excited about this coalition is that I grew up in a union family. My dad was in the Steelworkers. I had a solid blue collar background. I was from the Rust Belt of Northern Ohio. And at that point in time, I knew the good, the bad, and the ugly about being in a union. I can remember my dad being on strike, and I can remember him fighting for grievances for all kinds of other workers. And I can remember living on strike pay, but I also remember that we always had health care. I had eyeglass insurance when I was in middle school in the 60s, you know. There are so many opportunities that I had because I grew up in a union household that there are so many kids today in Arizona, they don't have those opportunities, you know. And I think that progressives and labor unions and all kinds of workers, we need to stick together because the corporations don't care about us. They want to get their, their hours out of us and that's it, okay. Uh, the last strike my dad was on, he was on, on strike for a year, and it was really hard. It was really hard on the families, it was hard on the workers. He was on the negotiating team, and after negotiating for a year in good faith with the company, what did they do? They shut it down. They shut it down, they laid everybody off, and that factory moved to the south because it was a right-to-work state. So now, what do you want to bet that that factory is in China or Mexico or someplace else where they could get cheaper labor, you know? So as workers, we need to stick together. You know, my mom, my mom worked as a secretary, but she worked in a factory that was unionized. So I saw that she got good health care, she got a pension because there was union in that factory. And we need to stick together. You know, the unions are so weak right now because after Reagan, everybody got, you know, whittled away. The 1% the they're trying to make us fight against each other. When my dad was a grievance man, I was in high school, and I remember him coming home one night, and he goes, can you read this? And it was a handwritten grievance in Spanish, and I had taken three years of Spanish in high school, and I said, yeah, I can read it. He said, can you write it in English for me? I have to represent this guy tomorrow, and I can't read this. I don't know what he's talking about, right? And there was nothing about, you know, he's a Mexican, or he's a Puerto Rican, and I'm not going to represent him. He was in the union. And my dad fought for him, and that's the kind of solidarity we need, and that's the kind of solidarity for progressives and labor. We need to stick together. You know? We have common values. We have common core values. We believe in public education. We believe in a living wage. We believe in equal pay for equal work. We believe in solid public education. These are the things that we want for our children and our grandchildren. And if progressives and labor stick together, we can get those things. Okay. One of the things I want to draw your attention to, there's a little flyer on the back table that talks about PDA's issues, like uh, Rick was saying, you know, we're, we're for uh, economic and social justice, we're for uh, immigration reform, we're for he universal health care, we're for strong public education, we're for a clean and safe environment, we're for ending the wars and bringing the money back here. We should have the money back here for jobs and for infrastructure building. We shouldn't be throwing our money away, you know, in other countries. And so. If we can stand together, we can do those things, you know. The corporations today, they don't care any more about you than they cared about my dad and his co-workers when they shut that plant down. They'll do that tomorrow to any of us unless we stand together. One of the things, other things that I want to draw your attention to is the envelope on your chair, you know. I think that PDA and labor, we can, we can work together, we can fight together, we can struggle together. And one of the things that PDA is doing on the national level is we're really trying hard to push the progressive agenda and the progressive budgets with Congress. We need more people like Raul Grijalva in Congress. We need more people who will stand up for people who will preserve Medicare and Medicaid and Social Security and, and not cut these rotten deals that some of these other people are doing. So if you have a few extra bucks and you could give it to PDA and Indomitable, that would be great. Or you could sign up as a Change Makes Change partner. $5 a month, 17 cents a day, helps us keep, you know, progressives in office and helps us push that, you know, those common core values and that common agenda we have. So whatever you can do, we can help it out. PDA is a very lean organization. We don't have a big fancy office building. We have like but two full-time staff and a few part-timers that are work out of their homes and that's what we're doing. We're building the progressive movement 
as a true grassroots movement, and we hope we can help you can help us out. All right.